Today I was going through Landrum, South Carolina. I'd run some errands and uh, was planning on picking up a load of mulch in my uh, utility trailer. And uh, as I was coming through the very heart of downtown Landrum, I was stopped at a stoplight. The traffic was fairly heavy. Been stopped for a while. And uh, all of a sudden, wham, from behind, a uh, big white pickup truck slammed into my trailer and uh, jolted the trailer, jolted the car, and jolted me. And uh, needless to say, I was shocked. Uh, traffic had only been moving at about 15 or 20 miles an hour to start with, and I had been stopped for a while. Uh, so I got out of the car and I went around to the back to take a look and see what damage, if any, there was done to the trailer. Upon first inspection, it appeared that there was no damage uh, other than maybe a little damage to the plywood. And, uh, and yet uh, uh, the pickup truck that hit me had uh, good bumpers on it and it didn't appear to be any damage to it either. Um, nevertheless, we always know that you have to inspect things carefully and look under the car to see if the bolting on of the trailer hitch was damaged in any way or if the tongue of the trailer was damaged in any way and so we pulled over to the side and the lady gave me her business card and uh, I told her I'd be in touch with her if there was any damage and uh, so I have uh, placed a call to her to let her know that yes the tongue of the trailer has uh, been twisted a little bit and uh, it makes it very, very difficult to get the uh, receiver for the ball uh, to go on to the ball. It was very hard getting the trailer off of the car. And the uh, uh, part of the car that's called the, the tongue coupler and the, the ball mount uh, were bent as well. And uh, while these are not expensive parts uh, and might even be able to be straightened, the damage is probably less than $75. Now, it would have been very easy to get out of the car and say, how could you be so stupid? Uh, yeah, how in the world did you manage to hit me when cars were already stopped for quite a long time and we were only going 15 or 20 miles an hour because of the traffic in Landrum? Uh, but you see, there's no point in doing that. As a matter of fact, that's where I'm coming from with my... Uh, scripture today. It's from Proverbs, and uh, Proverbs is a wonderful book. As Solomon had uh, asked for wisdom, and God gave him a lot of wisdom. It's in Proverbs 20, it's verse 4, excuse me, verse 3, and it says, Keeping away from strife is an honor for a man, but any fool will quarrel. It, it would have been easy for me to quarrel. It would have been easy for the lady to quarrel. Uh, but the lady was very pleasant. Uh, she followed me around the corner when we pulled off the road and quickly admitted that both my brake lights and my turn signal lights were still working. And uh, she could have quarreled that uh, they weren't, or she could have quarreled that I stopped too abruptly. And of course, I had been stopped for quite a while. But she didn't quarrel, and I didn't quarrel. And Hopefully this will be answered in a very peaceful way because uh, the damage is so minimal and, uh, and I'm hoping that she wasn't hurt in any way because she did jolt uh, my car and trailer quite substantially and I'm hoping that uh, my neck and shoulders are not going to pay the price for that jolt. But uh, right now it looks like the uh, damage is minimal and uh, there's no bodily harm that, that I know of to either one of us, but uh, we'll have to see how that develops. It certainly is a good thing to see this scripture passage that says, keep away from strife. It's an honor. But any fool can quarrel. <laughs> Maybe we should all remember that every day, no matter whether it's a minor fender bender or whether it's a major fender bender, that keeping away from strife is an honor for the man. But if any fool can quarrel. And that's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.